you've got a boss that likes bourbon, but you don't know the first thing about it. Well, you've come to the right place because today we're going to go over the seven bourbons that are good for gift giving. Our first option is Yellowstone Select. This bottle comes in at 93 proof and is a blend of four and seven, <laughs> four and seven year old bourbons. This is a fantastic bourbon and it comes in uh, right around that $30 range. Let's, let's give it a taste. Let's see how the pop is. Eh, mediocre pop. very, very hard to pour just a, <laughs> a scant amount of, of bourbon. The green apple and some baking spices. Let's see how it tastes. On the palate, this is a very light bourbon. There's not a lot of that typical bourbon burn. I'll go back and say that it's got a, a little bit of that green apple taste to it. It's got that green apple taste kind of up front. That's the, the first thing I notice. And then after that, it's the typical bourbon flavors. You've got caramel, you've got vanilla, uh, you've got a little bit of that oakiness that comes from sitting in the barrel. The finish on this one is not very long. It's straight up bourbon. It's caramel vanilla oak. Uh, there's not a lot going on, but for a $30 bourbon, this is a fantastic gift. I would be very, very pleased to get a bottle of this as a, as a gift. This is one that I almost always have on the bar. Uh, and as you can see, uh, it's one that I drink enough <laughs> to have gone through this bottle. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know how I feel about Russell's tenure. I personally think it's one of, if not the best, 10-year-old bourbon on the market. And you can walk into just about any liquor store, including some grocery stores, and pick up a bottle of this. Russell's is made by the Wild Turkey Distillery uh, and is named for the master distillers, uh, the Russell family. Again, this bourbon is aged 10 years, and it comes in at 90 proof. On the nose, ooh, that is vanilla up front. Vanilla, caramel, and peanuts. This is vanilla, caramel, and peanuts on the nose. Let's get at that on the palate. At 90 proof, again, this is not a hot bourbon. There's not a lot of burn. Uh, what there is, however, is a lot of peanuts. Peanuts makes way very quickly for kind of a caramel, toffee, uh, vanilla flavor. I believe I've compared it to peanut brittle in the past, and I'm gonna keep that note. Not a lot of oakiness, which is uh, not something I would expect for a 10-year-old bourbon. Uh, but yeah, vanilla, caramel, and peanuts on the palate. And then it finishes with almost a citrus tobacco and leather. For a $30 to $35 bottle of bourbon, this has a tremendously long finish. And it's still evolving because now I'm back to the peanuts again. And maybe a little, little leather in there as well. Russell's 10, $30 to $35. This is a perfect gift for the bourbon lover. Another favorite of mine, if you've watched the channel, is Four Roses Single Barrel. You're gonna be able to get this at any well-stocked grocery store. It comes in right around that $40 to $45 range, depending on uh, where you are in the country here. Depending on the grocery store I go into, I'm gonna see it $41 to $46, $47. This is a great bourbon. This is sure to please any of the bourbon lovers out there. It is a high rye bourbon, so you're gonna get some of that more traditional rye notes, that spicy black pepper. Let's give it a pop. 
guessing some of these don't have the pot because I've, I've, I've drank a little bit of it. Let's see how it smells on the nose. I'm getting raisins, leather, and vanilla. This is a very, very good smelling whiskey. Immediately up front, you get the black pepper, that high rye mash bill. Once the rye starts to diminish, it transforms into that typical bourbon flavors where you get a lot of caramel, get the vanilla. Uh, you don't get a lot of oak on this. This single barrel, which is barrel number 10-2F, is coming in at 100 proof. Very, very good. Let's see what the finish is. Rice spice took in my nose a little bit. So it's a very long finish. You immediately get hit with kind of tobacco, wet leather. The raisins from the, the initial nosing starts to come in. And then we're back to caramel. And there's some oakiness right at the end. Right before that flavor starts to go away, you get the oak. Uh, again, anywhere from 40 to $47. This is uh, a perfect gift. As, I mean, look, I'll be honest, all of these are perfect gifts. As a bourbon lover, I would be pleased to get any of the bottles that we're gonna talk about today. The Four Roses Single Barrel is where you start to differentiate between uh, the everyday bourbon and, start, and you start to get into that nicer, uh, what I'll call that Friday night bourbon. All right, so now we've started to get into the, what I would call the mid-range of bourbon. This is the $50 to $75 range. So far, everything we've tasted has been less than 50 bucks and fairly easy to find even walking into a grocery store. Now we're starting to get into that uh, higher price point that generally also means higher proof. That generally also means you're going to a liquor store now. So the first on that list is Old Forester 1920. Now, if you've seen this video, you know that in a blind taste test of three different Old Foresters, my lovely wife, Mary, and I both picked this bottle. Let's see what the pop is. Oh, that's a good pop. The immediate first thing I notice is that this bourbon smells sweet. You're getting dried fruits, kind of a, a burnt brown sugar, but not in a bad way. Think like a creme brulee and almost a, Almost like a banana. Yeah, definitely like a banana. Like this is almost a, like a, a creme brulee banana pudding is how I would say this smells. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah, this is, this is sweet. This is like maple candy. I like maple syrup, maple candy. Uh, you've got that brown sugar note in there, uh, stone fruit. We're talking cherries more than anything, like a black cherry, like a like a Washington cherry. There's a almost a dark chocolate as well. This is almost a black forest cake. Very, very wonderful tasting bourbon. So after that black cherry, after that dark chocolate. The first thing I notice as the, the finish is setting in is a black pepper rye spiciness that transforms into almost an allspice. Back to like that baking notes. And then it really, really finishes with dark chocolate. Uh, this is dessert in a bottle. Uh, Old Forster 1920 Prohibition style. You know what, there's a little bit left in the glass. Let's finish that off first. Old Forster 1920 Prohibition style is going to hit you somewhere in that 56 to $60 range. I think I paid 57 for this, um, but I got a good deal. I bought three bottles of Old Forster at one time. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is in that 56 to $60 range. Very, very good, 115 proof. We're hitting those bottles that somebody's not going to necessarily buy for themselves to be an everyday drinker. These are the, it was a long week, 
I'm going to sit down Friday night, pour myself a dram, and relax. Old Forester, 1920 Prohibition style. This is a eight and a half to nine out of ten bourbon. Next up is Wild Turkey's Rare Breed. This is the second Wild Turkey product that's been on my list. Uh, this one comes in at 116.8 proof and right in that 50 to $55 range, at least in my market. The other thing I've noticed with this being the second over $50 bottle is once you cross that $50 line, you're probably also going to get into higher proof whiskeys. And this is the second bottle that's been 115 proof or higher. Mm, gentle pop, but I'll allow it. On the nose, I'm getting almost a citrus note like orange, but not like, not like an orange, but like you're zesting an orange or maybe like orange bitters. I'm also getting toffee and might be uh, like a leathery oak hybrid. Let's see how it tastes. Right away, I get black pepper and citrus almost like taking a grapefruit and putting black pepper on it. Or, yeah, no, that's that's about right. Like a grapefruit with black pepper. Which doesn't sound like it should taste good, but this tastes very, very good. I'm also getting caramel, burnt sugar, and a toasted marshmallow. It might be the burnt sugar. I might be confusing burnt sugar. Yeah, to definitely toasted marshmallow. Not like you lightly toasted it because you're making a s'more but like you stuck the marshmallow in the fire, you let it get burnt to a crisp, and then before it cools down, you pop it in your mouth. That kind of toasted marshmallow. The Park of the Viking style of toasted marshmallow. Not unpleasantly burnt. And that's probably from the char in the oak. And then the finish is citrus into like a, it's a familiar note. I wanna say, like tahine, but without the lime. So we'll just call it like a like a red pepper almost. Very, very good. Very unusual and significantly different from the rest of the bourbons we've tried. This one, this specific bottle, um, I'm not getting the normal peanuts that I get from Wild Turkey though. I don't know if it's the batch or what it is, but uh, this is one of the, this is this is one of the better uh, wild turkey rare breeds I've had. Very, very good. Uh, long finish, I've still got that red pepper, leathery note in the, in the back of my throat here. Perfect bottle of whiskey. And in our final whiskey, in this price range, we have Penelope's Toasted Barrel. I picked this bottle up at my local grocery store of all places for $69.99. This is hands down Mary's favorite bottle of bourbon. In fact, I'm surprised she's not out here right now, but she's playing video games and she has her headphones on, so she doesn't know I'm about to pour from her bottle. This is 110 proof and this has a heavy toast this is Penelope's Toasted Barrel. It is 110 proof, and according to the bottle, it has a char of three. I don't know if that's on a scale of one to five or a scale of one to 10 or one to 100, but it says the toast is heavy. No pop, no pop whatsoever. We are having a pop-free day. Again, this is Mary's favorite bourbon. This is one that we tend to always have on hand because it makes my wife happy. So I get rye, but not black pepper. Think like rye bread. Vanilla. And almost a mintiness. Not like gum, but like a handful of real mint. 
see how she tastes. Strong black pepper and rye right off the front. You definitely pick up on that that char, that almost barbecue smell, like a like a good smoker. Um, like if I've got a brisket on and I'm rolling smoke heavy, that's kind of the the flavor I get. I also get some some of that marshmallow sweetness. Not a lot of vanilla on the initial taste. Finishes heavy rye. And almost like a like a dill that ends with mint. But it evolves. Like it it ebbs and flows. Because as I'm starting to feel that burn, the rye is coming back a little bit. Um, my lips have a little spiciness, like a little black pepper spice to them. Very good bottle of bourbon. Great gift, $69.99 in my market. Um, I would say you're going to get this somewhere in the $65 to $75 range, depending on your market. This bottle has been making its rounds on YouTube and in the whiskey world right now as being definitely in the conversation for bourbon of the year. This is the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch C923. It's 125.6 proof. And we're going to see what the fuss is all about. By the way, this is also the most expensive bottle that we have on this video today. I picked this bottle up for uh, $82.99. It's the only time I've seen it. Felt like I had to pick it up. If anything, I was going to do this as its own review. Um, but I figured as a gift guide, if you can find a bottle of this and you're giving this as a gift, who doesn't want to get the bourbon of the year, right? Decent pop. Decent pop. Squeaky going back in. By the way, this is uh, 13 years, seven months. It is non-chill filtered out of the Elijah Craig distillery. I'm getting a lot of fruit out of this one, like a berry. It's very, very good little bit of cinnamon, mostly a fruitiness. I'm getting stone fruit, uh, like cherries again. A lot of cinnamon, very heavy cinnamon. A little bit of, of black pepper, like a little bit of rye coming through. Kind of a dark chocolate as well. It's very, very good. I don't know if it's bourbon of the year good. I've had some good bourbons <laughs> this year. This is very, very good. Ooh, uh, the finish is brownies. Like a really good homemade dark chocolate brownie. Now, again, I don't know if this is best bourbon, if this is bourbon of the year good. This is very, very good. There you have it. That is our list of bourbons. If you're buying bourbon for someone and you have no idea what to get all the way from $30 to over 80. This is it. Take a screenshot because this is your bourbon gift guide. Any one of these bourbons and the bourbon lover on your shopping list is going to be more than happy. I'm Parker the Viking. Thanks for joining. And remember, no matter what anyone else tells you, there is no wrong way to drink your bourbon. Cheers. Oh, there she is. Nope, nope, nope. Zelda, are you, are you giving away your bottle? I'm going to be drinking from your bottle, yes. Back in here. Love you. Love you too.